Hey everybody, just getting the finishing touches set up for the rest of the yarn that we need. Um, but I'll be on in just a second. Let me know how I sound. How does the audio? Um, can you hear me? Am I clear? Can you hear the music? Is the music too loud? Really, any feedback works out great. I'll be on in just a sec. A uh, quick shout out, um, if you haven't yet, uh, now is one of the last chances to sign up for next month's uh, Club Crochet Pro Kit. Um, you can see the little thing on the screen there. I'll talk about it more uh, as we get going, but I just thought, you know, while it's on screen, I might as well say something. Sign up for a Pro Kit if you haven't yet. Uh, if you want to get a crochet kit with two different dinosaurs that you can make. It actually makes like five different dinosaurs, but you get to choose between making a pterodactyl and an ankylosaurus or a triceratops and a stegosaurus. Although really you get all the patterns if you're a pro member, so you can make any of them. <laughs> well, I just thought I'd shout it out before I get going. I'll be on in literally, give me like one more minute. All right, let's rock and roll. Man, I love that transition. That transition is so cool where the things slide in and it slides out. That's so cool. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to the live stream. I know it's a weird time, weird day, but hello, thank you so much for joining me. I am uh, getting prepped to move right now. This is actually the last thing that I'm doing in this light box before I pack up this whole section of my craft room and move to Southern California. I'm very nervous about it, but you know, I'm excited and I'm excited to share uh, the last live stream in this little studio with you guys and excited to see what the next place looks like. I have some ideas for how to set it up. I definitely think I'm gonna change the backdrop um, and I might change the positioning of this like this thing like maybe have like everything over over here instead and maybe I don't know any suggestions are well uh, are, are, are definitely taken so if you have any ideas on how a cool setup thing would be I'm listening 
Um, but hello to everybody in the chat. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Uh, right now, I live in San Francisco, by the way, Carrie. And welcome to the live stream, Carrie. I saw that you're a newbie. Thanks for joining. I hope you enjoy today. Um, okay, so today we are making some sand castles and a beach ball. Well, a sand castle and a beach ball. Um, this is this month's Club Crochet Pro Kit, which I'll talk about in a second. Let me talk about all the materials that I'm going to be using today for crocheting this. Uh, so if you want to crochet it along with me, you can. Um, but you don't have to. You can crochet whatever you'd like. Uh, and we'll be talking about what you guys are making in a little bit as well. So, first off, you're going to need yarn. I'm going to be using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton. Because today I'm making a sand castle itself, I'm going to be using beige as the main color. Uh, this is going to be pretty much the entire sand castle is going to be this sand beigey color. If you want to make a beach ball with us, uh, which I'll probably be doing after the sand castle, you'll need an additional three or four colors. Um, the kit, the Club Crochet Pro Kit should have come with all this. Um, it includes, uh, we'll be using white as the main color, and then we'll do pink, blue, and yellow as the secondary colors for the beach ball um, to make it like swirly different colors. But the sand castle is going to be all uh, beige. You can also use different colors. There are, um, uh oh, I'm going to need to grab a cord for my iPad. It's going to die. Uh, so I'll get that in a second. Um, uh, if you want to make a regular castle, uh, do I have an example? I don't know if I do. Well, whatever. I got an example somewhere in, in this big old box of crocheted things, but it's okay. If you want to make a regular type castle, you're going to want gray um, as the main color, and then you'll want a secondary color like a brown or a red or a blue for the tip of your castle. But that's always that's also, also like completely your preference. Besides the yarn, you're gonna need a crochet hook, of course. I'm gonna be using a size G four millimeter crochet hook. Um, I've been trying this week using a crochet hook without a handle to just like, you know, go back to my roots, try to try to see what it's like to crochet uh, with a crochet hook without a handle. I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> so if you have a crochet with a handle, highly suggested. Um, you'll need a darning needle. I like using a crimped end darning needle like this. It helps you get in and out of hard to reach stitches. Uh, a pair of scissors. You'll need a very small amount of felt. This is going to be for the flag at the top of the uh, sand castle. And a little tiny needle that we're going to put right in the tip of the castle to hold our flag uh, with the felt. I'm actually going to put these two to the side so I don't accidentally poke myself. Um, I've been treating my hands not well. I burnt it earlier this morning too. So let's try to not poke our hands a bunch. So those are the colors and the yarn that you're going to need. I believe we have some crochet kits for this in the store uh, still. Some extras. Uh, so if you're interested in getting a kit, uh, there should be links in the description or by just going to clubcrochet.com. Um, besides the materials, while you're getting that, let me talk about how you can support this channel if you so wish, which I would very much appreciate. Um, there's a few ways you can help support this channel. The first easy way is just like this video down below. If you can like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Um, yeah, it would be great. That would be really cool. Uh, if you'd like to support this channel monetarily, uh, the best way to help support monetarily is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the full library of tutorials. There are over 200 patterns, and I add new ones every single month. The newest addition is for our Pterodactyl, which is this month's Club Crochet Pro Kit. Uh, so if you sign up for a pro membership, uh, you get kits mailed to your door each month with all the materials you need to make whatever we're adding that month. This month, you're making a. Uh, we're going to add some new little miniature dinosaurs. So we're going to be making some Pterodactyls, some Ankylosaurus, Sai? Ankylosauri? I don't know, that sounds right. Um, these are the two new dino patterns. The Ankylosaurus should be up uh, probably, now probably next Monday. Um, but the Pterodactyl is out now and available on the website with a Club Crochet membership. Uh, it will be available for purchase soon too. I just need to put some finishing touches on uh, the Spanish language tutorials as well. Um, 
so yeah sign up now for the pro membership if you'd like uh you can see the newest members right here too so thank you to uh froggy went a knitting and eve 833 for becoming members you can also purchase merch and kits in the store i have a bunch of different kinds of merch we got pins we got stickers we got uh uh, uh shirts and kits of course we got crochet kits as well but that is how you can help support monetarily if you're interested uh, there is one more way you can help support, and that is with a donation, uh, or a tip, rather. A tip to me. If you'd like to tip me, you totally can. If you do, I'll put something out for you to say thank you so much for tipping. Uh, I'll put out a little crochet thing for you. Um, yeah, that's the gist there. I got a whole bunch of uh, crochet things to put out today because I've been cleaning up a bunch. And, and finding all these little crocheted things that I forgot about for a long time. Um, for our yarn carry, we're gonna be using a worsted weight cotton yarn. Uh, we're actually in the middle of trying to like get some new yarn for our kits. Uh, we're like testing out some different kinds of yarn, but worsted weight 100% cotton is my favorite one to use for amigurumi. Uh, some good brands, uh, Lion Brand has a pretty good 100% cotton and uh, Lily Sugar and Cream is a pretty good uh, option. Um, you can use uh, acrylic yarn. I just don't personally prefer acrylic yarn um, because it's not great for the environment and I don't like the feel of it as I crochet. But that's my personal preference. Um, ooh, we're gonna start out great with a donation from Cooper. Thank you so much, Cooper. Cooper says, great to see ya, almost out of jute. <laughs> and just in case this stream goes long, you gotta go at 4.45, okay. Okay, good to know. I, I'm hoping it doesn't go that long because I do need to pack this entire room today. So, you know. <laughs> well, we should get going pretty quick. Um, I am going to put out this for Cooper uh, because it's awesome. Hopefully it fits in screen. If it doesn't, I'll grab something else. Look at this dude. It's a Hinox from Zelda, which is, on the, which is in the audio right now. It's giant. It's super cool. Um, I have got to work on a pattern for this. It's basically got the hobgoblin pattern is like the basic gist of it. But I did a little pig nose and one giant eye for Hinox. It's super cool, right? I'm going to put it right here. He might not be fully in screen the whole time, but he'll get some buddies throughout the stream. See if I can't get his eye. Let's like really squish him down like that. Get his eyeball right in there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's get let's make him a castle to protect. <laughs> um, have I ever used milk cotton yarn? I have. I don't really like milk cotton yarn personally. Um, I actually that was one of the yarns that we were testing out, and I just wasn't really into it. It's very cheap, but it just doesn't it look it just doesn't look the way I want it to. I do like that it's a sustainable yarn though. That is something I really do like about it. Um, one second, I just I. I need to get a cord from my iPad or it's going to die and I won't be able to see the beautiful chat. So one second, I'll be right, 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 right back. Okay. Okay. I moved the, the cord last night in, in a frenzy as my phone was going to die, so... I totally forget it. Okay. There we go. Oh yes, please don't uh, talk about age in the chat or or any too much personal information. You never know who's out there. And yeah, you just don't want a weirdo. You just don't want a weirdo. Um, okay, well let's get crocheting. We're gonna start by making the castle. We're gonna start by making the skinny towers of the castle. And because we wanna make a uh, the beach ball as well as the sand castle, we're gonna be making, <laughs> why is everybody saying pickle? <laughs> Am I supposed to be crocheting a pickle? Oh no. Oh my gosh, leaf sauce, you are a rogue. A, just a really a, a stinker. Um, <laughs> I actually hate pickles, so, uh, gross, ew, ew, 
Why are there all the pickles in this chat? That's disgusting. <laughs> um, we're going to be making this, uh, the smaller of the two towers. So that means we're only going to make two of these skinny towers. If you want to crochet this with me. Um, you can make two or four. You, this pattern is like a little bit flexible. Yeah, the prank the prank did work. I was like, why is pickle? Why are there so many pickles? <clears throat> okay. You gotta get my coffee. You know, you gotta get your coffee. You gotta get your coffee intake, or else I could die. Heresy. I don't like pickles. They're gross. Uh, I don't like cucumbers either, to be fair. Which are basically just raw pickles. One, two, three, four. Six. If you want the tutorial for this castle pattern, by the way, it is available. Um, you can find the link on screen now or in the description. It's at clubcrochet.com slash castle. Um, I did try to make it. Let me see, hold on. I tried to make it free, but I didn't. Let me go ahead and make this pattern free right now, just while we're in the live stream. So that way, if you want to crochet it with me, you can. And it's loading. I'll wait for it to load. Okay. At less than, all right, let's get back to this. Five, six. We are crocheting pickles. No. <laughs> oh God, please no. I can make a pretty good crochet pickle though with like bobble stitches to make the little bumps on the pickle and stuff. But also gross. They taste all nasty. Nasty. Okay, hold on. All right. Now the pattern should be uh, free. So if you go to clubcrochet.com slash castle, you should be able to find it. You should be able to find it. All right. Keep on crocheting on. I got some pretty cool things to show you guys today. Once I finish this, I'll show you uh, something that I was messing with a bunch yesterday. And uh, yeah, we got some new yarn that I've been testing out. I actually don't have that to show you. That's in the other room, because I wasn't thinking about it. Um, can I do an amigurumi turtle? Absolutely, yeah. I've been actually wanting to do an amigurumi turtle for a while. Uh, I really like turtles. I used to have a turtle when I was a kiddo. Uh, his, name, his name was Speedy, and I thought Speedy was a girl for the longest time until one night I woke up to discover Speedy trying to make babies with a rock in the room, and then I found out that Speedy was not a girl. <laughs> All right, now we are crocheting. I'm on round. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we're on round three of the skinny towers. You're making a paper dragon puppet? That's pretty dope. I, uh, this week, oh, let me tell you guys this, let me tell you guys what happened. Okay, so on Monday, uh, I've been going to, I don't like this song. It feels like I'm in Disneyland, but like, the bad part of Disneyland. You know, where all the tunes like try to mug you. Okay, it's changing. Good. <laughs> you know, the bad part of Disneyland. Um <laughs> uh so this week uh I've been going every Monday to a, a Super Smash Brothers tournament. Uh people that have been watching the live stream for a while know that I'm addicted to playing Super Smash Brothers. Uh, the new one on the Nintendo Switch, well, the new-ish one. And so every week I go to this tournament to play uh, Super Smash Brothers, and I've gotten second a bunch, but I've never gotten first. And this Monday uh, was my last chance before I move 
to get first place in this tournament. And uh, I've made a bunch of friends there, so I had a lot of people rooting me on, and like even the people that I was against were like, sorry to see me leave, but didn't want me, to, you know, they still wanted to win the tournament. And I won it! I won the tournament! I And it was on the competitive night too, so it was like, Everybody was bringing their A game, and I barely won. It came down to the last uh, last second, and it was super duper close, but I actually won it. And uh, yeah, it was really cool. I won a, uh, a big bottle of rum that I will never drink because I don't like rum, but it's a good trophy. And it, it's like some expensive bottle of rum, but you know, I don't really drink much, so... But uh, I also won. I, I bring a crochet uh, gift every time. And this week, I actually brought a dragon. I brought a dragon as the gift. <laughs> and then I won it. And I was and and Jules was like, "Who are you gonna give the dragon to?" And I was like, "Are you kidding me? This is my first time winning. I'm keeping the dragon. <laughs> I want it." I feel, but I feel kind of bad. I feel like I should have given it to someone else. But also, like, you know, I need some kind of prize. I need some kind of proof. And I like crocheted dragons more than I like rum. <laughs> oh, Johnny, thank you. Can oh, well, you know what? I really appreciate you, your support regardless. Thank you so much, Johnny. Um, let me see. What do we got? What do we got for Johnny? Let's do... I got all these like new things, these like random things that I found that I've made like a long time ago. You know what, here, here's something I made a really long time ago and uh, I don't think I've ever shown it off because it's kind of weird looking. It was when I was like still, you know, fresh into crocheting and uh, just trying out weird stuff. Ready? This is for you, Johnny. It's a lion, like an angry lion. But it's a lion nonetheless. And it's weird. Like, you can see how it's, it's like, you know, an old one from me. Uh, even the eyes. I didn't wasn't even using safety bead eyes at the time. And I did something really weird with the mane where I just kind of, like, wrapped it in fuzzy yarn. Um, but it's kind of cool. It's like a good look back at, like, my old crocheting. You can see how I did all the arms and legs on pipe cleaners wrapped in yarn? I don't know. It's an oldie. But I thought you might like it. So, thanks for your donation, Johnny. We're going to put it right here in the corner to be nice and creepy. With our giant Hinox in the other corner. <laughs> Can I do an amigurumi cow? Absolutely, yeah. I, uh, I do have a Bonhamel cow. But I think there are some, I think I, I could do another cow soon uh, to go with like the little amigurumi pig that we have. I don't know. Um, Johnny, can you call it Kimba? Yes, absolutely you can call him Kimba. Um, I did get your rough draft. I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to you with this move. You know, it's just been, our life has just been kind of uprooted a little bit. Uh, and just haven't had a lot of time to just do a lot of things that I want to so I will get to that ASAP though um, I'm sorry I haven't gotten to it yet Nana asks how many have I made how many amigurumi have I made I have made I legitimately think I've made thousands thousands of amigurumi yeah I, uh, I have, like, literal bins of them. Look at this one. This is what we're pulling out of today. This is one bin of, like, I've got, like, four of those bins of, uh, crochet. So, yes, I've got a lot. I've got a lot. I just don't, I, I need to do something with them. I don't know. <laughs> Abominable Corgi. I love it. 
Yes, absolutely. I think that's a great idea. I really wanted to get out uh, another Bonimal pattern this month, but I mean, we're at the end of the month now, so I kind of messed that up. But yes, it'll probably be a, a new like bunch of Bonimals will be a bunch of Bonimals. That's probably what like a group of Bonimals is called is a bunch, I would think. You know how like there's like a murder of crows? Probably like a bunch of Bonimals. But yes, Corgi, for sure. I think a Corgi and a Fox are uh, definitely in the works. Um, I also want to do, you know, the, there's like a little dragon, uh, a pug, a, um, a cow. And did I say an elephant? Yeah. Something like that. I have a bunch of ones that I want to work on though. I want to do a whole nether, like basically a volume, a volume two of, of Bonimals to make a bunch of different kinds. I'm thinking like eight more, maybe? This stitch is fighting me though. Okay, that's pretty good. So what I'm doing after each row, by the way, is I'm chaining or I'm slip stitching into the first stitch and then I'm chaining one and then starting my single crochets in the same stitch I slip stitched into. And it's making it like grow in a very uniform way so that this side is the same width or same height as this side to make everything a little bit easier to, for height. And this is gonna be hidden on the inside. This is gonna be sewn onto the main body of our castle. So it doesn't really matter that there's like these little, you can see how there's these little like bumps that aren't normally there. So those are gonna be hidden. So I don't really mind them that much. Just a little bit of a, a little bit of explanation, I guess. Ooh, more Animal Crossing. Yeah, totally. I think more Animal Crossing are in the works as well. Um, I'd like to work with Sir Pearl Grey to maybe get some more Animal Crossing patterns out there because uh, that's a really fun collaboration that we have going on and yeah. Johnny's got a migraine. I totally feel for you, Johnny. I, I get those every now and then and sometimes you just need to go into a room, turn off all the lights and uh, stare at the ceiling or keep your eyes closed pointing at the ceiling. And I get that. I feel that for sure. Desi, hello newbie. Welcome to the welcome to the channel. Welcome to the live stream. Hope you're having a great day. Okay, so we wanted to go up to round nine. So we went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're on our last round of repeats. And then, oh yes, okay. I'm starting to remember how we make this castle now. I've got this eye twitch right here. Now it's on the bottom, it's on my bottom eyelid. I don't think you can see it, but I can feel it. It's going like, you know how eye twitches sound, kind of like. We're gonna hope that we have a pretty quiet cat today. I'm gonna turn down the music just a little bit. There we go. Um, because we have a cat in here. Jules is at work today. She went into the office today before we move. So we got to watch over the kitties, but he is luckily sleeping very heavily. So that's good. Thought, thought is good. All right, let's right to there. And we'll slip stitch here and chain one. For our last row though, up. Uh, Thank you so much again to Cooper. Cooper, double whammy, man. Double whammy. And thank you for the congratulations. I'm guessing you're saying congrats about the Smash Brothers. I really appreciate it. I was on cloud nine on Monday. I was like, so excited. It was really, it was, it was a really cool moment, especially cause it was like that close and it was my last night and everybody was so happy for me. It was just so cool. It was just so cool. Um, let's see, what can we put out? 
Oh, you know what? Hold on. I got something good. I to find it. Hold on. I know exactly what to put out. Find it. Man, I was looking for my. I have a little Yoshi, but I don't know where he's at. All right, well, I'll put out. Uh, I'll put out a Pikmin for you. Who don't like Pikmin? Take me anyways. Man, where is it? I want to put out Yoshi, though. Hmm. Oh, well. I don't know where Yoshi is. So here's a purple Pikmin instead to go with your big big boy over here. By the way, here's his little cute little thing there. Another pattern that I really need to work on. I just haven't put in the effort yet to finish it up and do the video tutorial for. But it is in the rough drafts uh, if you want to make some Pikmin. Um, where is the written pattern? Uh, right here, clubcrochet.com slash castle is where you can find the written pattern. Rachel is making a blueberry pie. Well, that's pretty fun. A real one or crocheted one? Oh, you're crocheting a blueberry pie. Okay, never mind. You said it in the, <laughs> in the answer there. One... This part's really weird. Three, because you're decreasing, but you're only working into the back loops. It's very strange. Yeah, oh well. I, I'll find... I know I have the little Yoshi somewhere. Um, by the way, that's who I play in Super Smash Bros. That's why I wanted to put him out. Because I love Yoshi. Spring ha. Oh, thank you, Cooper. Yes, Cooper just put the uh, link to where to get the pattern in the chat. So anybody that wants to get the pattern in is live. Uh, that's where to go. Well, that's where to go. I sound like a radio announcer. Here on KNX 570. All the latest hits from all the latest... chipmunks I don't know I don't know what's wrong with me I don't know okay so it goes like this see we made this like little cylinder we got to stuff it with you guessed it stuffing wow you're a genius I'm so smart wow you gotta love you gotta love stuffing. You don't have to. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to. Yoshi pattern from me. I do have a Yoshi pattern. It's just old. Uh, and so I've been wanting to redo it for a long time. So I actually took it off my shop because I was like, you know what? My patterns are so much better now. I don't want someone to get this pattern and be like disappointed because it's not as good as my other ones. So I've just been wanting to put a little bit more effort into it. I honestly, I need to, one of the things I'm going to do when I move is I'm going to create just like a, I'm going to have a whiteboard or something in my room, in my craft room. And put a, uh, just like a list of like, here are all the crochet patterns I want to do. And every week just try to like get one done. And just try to add a new pattern, as fa as many patterns as I can of these, all these patterns that I've been like wanting to finish up, you know. I also want to come start coming out with a lot more tutorials for like, here's how to do this specific stitch or here's how to make like horns for your amigurumi if you want to start making horns for specific characters or something like that. Just like a lot more, um, a lot more like 
universal tutorials I think are gonna I'm gonna start working on so that way you it's more like designer for for your own designs and stuff is what I'm gonna try to work on yeah Carly you've only been crocheting for about four months now and I love watching oh thank you so much uh honestly you're doing great uh, I feel like once you're at four months of crocheting you are legitimately hooked and you know how to do single crochets and once you know how to do single crochets amigurumi is easy squeezy in my opinion uh and i don't know i'm just a big fan of crocheting amigurumi because you're crocheting toys like they're awesome uh it's like 3d printing it's great yes uh okay wait so a couple things first off carrie Guess what your what you crocheted today? I'm gonna guess that Carrie crocheted a lollipop. No, a strawberry. It's a strawberry. Uh, maybe I don't know. Is that what you crocheted today, Carrie? Was it a strawberry? I hope it was a strawberry. I hope I was right. Uh. <laughs> Uh, Shannon, can I do a mini advent calendar? Absolutely. That is totally part of the plan for um, for this year. We want to do in... Uh, we're going to start it in November. Uh, I actually... It's it's my goal for, for August to start planning it. Um, but we are going to do an advent calendar. We're going to do either 12 days of Christmas or the full 25 days to Christmas. And you make something new every single... Um, uh, every single day you can like open a little door and get a new pattern on the website We're gonna be working on it next month. It'll probably be out in no like starting in November where you can sign up for it uh, And yeah, if you have like a membership, you'll be able to get all the patterns um, Yeah, we got a plan for it, but it is definitely part of the plans. It's gonna be really cool. Actually, it's I think it's gonna be really fun uh, Okay now I've got to make the castle edging. So let's see. Make a slip knot. Chain one. Okay. So we're going to start here, it looks like. Pull this through. Like that. Chain one. Okay. We're going to. I'm going to start this next one. A half double crochet one. Two. Two. Ah, I see. Yes. Okay. I'm starting to remember this pattern now. I think I've already said that before, but still. A macaroon and a mushroom. Dang, I feel like I actually could have guessed that. Oh. I feel like I could have guessed that. I got these little tiny uh, mushrooms that are on top of my uh, TV over here. This is another tutorial I want to do. I've got three of them in different sizes, and they have little magnets on the bottom of them. See, there's actually a magnet in there, but I put another one there uh, so that I can make them stand up. Like, here, we'll just put it. We'll put it on screen. Come on. I just gotta move it slow. Hold on. There we go. So there's a magnet under it right now no keep going there we go so it'll stand up on its own isn't that cool there you go it's a little magnet fun so fun <laughs> um okay Slip stitch, two, one, and two. Tina, try and guess what Tina's making. Tina's making, Tina's making, Tina's making a cake. They said they just finished roses and a unicorn. I'm going to guess that you're making a cake or... 
a goblin. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, Aaliyah wants me to guess how close they are at finishing their blanket. I'm gonna guess not close at all. Not even, not even near. You're, you're, you're less than halfway. <laughs> I. The only reason I'm guessing that is because uh, that's how long. That's how where I usually get on a blanket when I give up. So, yeah, I'm about about there. All right, we're gonna slip stitch two, and then we're gonna call it there. And then I wanna show you something that uh, I'm working on. That, pull it through. And then I think we'll just go ahead and hide these ends now. Okay, no, Tina May is making a dog basket for the. Oh my gosh, you're crocheting a full on dog basket? That's crazy. Like, for like a size of a dog? Well, how big is the dog? Are we talking about a little dog? Or a big dog? Either way, that's a lot of work. What? How are you making it? What are you making it out of? Is it gonna be like like sturdy where they can like carry the dog or is it like for the dog to like sleep in i need to know more i'm pretty much right about the where you're at with the blanket haha <laughs> i knew it i knew it they're hard you know it's hard to like make something that's why i love making amy groomy because it doesn't take that long like we can do this live stream and have something finished by the end of it where you can't really do that with a lot of other things that you crochet, you know? You know, maybe like hats and, and like gloves maybe are like the only wearables. Maybe a scarf you could do in one sitting, but that's kind of a long sitting. Whereas crocheted amigurumi you can easily do in one sitting. I have not ever been diagnosed with it, but I think I have a form of ADD or ADHD which is why I like making small projects that uh, I can finish in one sitting. My mom doesn't think I do, but Jules does. My fiance thinks I do, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, okay, we have one of these done. We're gonna have to make another one of these in a second, but before I do that, I wanna show you something that I've been working on uh, for a while now, and I finally got my first prototype of it done yesterday. So we're, I'm working right now. So I'm working right now with a company to get um, stitched made as pop out uh, pieces. So if you don't know what stitched is, by the way, let me do a little explanation first. Stitched is my tabletop game that you crochet all your pieces. So you, they're like little goblins and stuff. Uh, like, like. Like this little dude is a character from the game. You you crochet all these little goblins and trolls and orcs and stuff and you like move across the board and you fight each other and you try to like mine for gold and cast magic spells and stuff. It's really cool. The, t uh, the All the rules are at stitchthegame.com. I'm currently in the process of kind of revamping the rules. So those are more of like the rough draft rules at this point. Um, not really rough drafts, those are just like the version one rules. Uh, but I do have more new rules that are coming out. But this all to say, I'm working. Uh, oh, see you later, Leaf Sauce. Thanks for joining. Um, uh, yeah, this is Shank, by the way. Yes, good, good call, Cooper. Uh, so I'm working right now with uh, to get pop out versions of the pieces made, so that you can instead of crocheting them for people that don't want to crochet or don't know how to crochet, uh, I want to give them the opportunity to also play the game. So I have been working on pop out pieces that I designed that you guys are going to love these. Watch this. Check this out. So I'll do one that's not colored in first, like this guy. So here is an orc, and here's the stand. It's all made out of paper. Um, I'm trying to make I'm trying to do it as, like, plastic-free as I can, just because, like, I don't really like using plastics if I can avoid it. So they kind of look like this. These are like the prototypes. They're not done yet, but you can see they're like black and white, so you can color them in, and then they have this little stand that you can pop it in like that. 
and then they can like stand up and you can play the game with little cardboard pieces and I've got a bunch of them made check them out like I me and Jules colored a bunch of them yesterday I made a here, I want to find the troll the troll looks really cool Let's see now well, here's a colored in orc that Jules made uh, here's a little troll so the troll has a little butt too which is kind of fun um, and what's really cool about them is I even have I'm even I've even designed it so that you can make little weapons and stuff because in the game like you can you can have like swords and daggers and stuff you can like buy them for your character so like here's a here's a dagger for example it's not colored in but you get the gist and I and I designed it so that you can just like slide it onto the arms so they can like actually be holding them isn't that cool they're so cool I have little hats too. Where's the little hat? Let me show you this. So in the game, you have to um, you you can like steal, capture the flag, and so there the flags are hats. So you actually can have little hats that they can wear like that. Isn't that funny? It's so cute. I'm really proud of them. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on how it's going in the future, but I just want to share them. They're really cool and like. Yeah, they just look so cute. Here's the here's the hobgoblin. Oh, that's the back of it. He's got a little tattoo that says mom. But here's the hobgoblin. Here's what here's a painted in ogre. They're so cool! I really like them a lot. Obviously, I prefer to crochet them. Because duh. But I really like the idea of giving this opportunity to other people that are that are uh, that want to try playing the game, you know? But yeah, I basically just wanted to share that with you because uh, I just think it's really, really cool. And uh, I'm just really excited about it, honestly. It's going to be a little bit of time before that's ready to rock and roll because, you know, I'm working with a company to, like, get that, get them, like, first off, I've got to do all this design. I don't know how these designs end up looking until, like, this company, like, can print them and publish them and stuff. So there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of different, um, you know, back and forth that's going on. I've been working on it for uh, way over a year. Uh, not sti stitched, I've been working on it for like three years. But the pop-out pieces I've been working on for probably like a year and a half. So there's, you know, it takes just a long time for it to get all worked out. So I'm really excited though. I'm very, very, very excited. Um, yeah, they're going to also be helping with the... Uh, hopefully with the Lava Run uh, game. So that's our other game that I'm going to start the playtest for in August. So if you are a Club Crochet member, um, you actually are going to, uh, next month, not only do you get a kit for like uh, crocheting dinosaurs, but you're also going to be able to test out a new game that I have been working on called Lava Run. It's a, it's a dinosaur-based board game that you crochet your pieces for, and you try to escape a volcano um, so th we're gonna start the play test with only 500 people uh, and membership level accounts get the first uh, opportunity to sign up for the play test so you get you get special special opportunity if you have a membership so there's another shout out if you want to become a club crochet member and help support this channel see you later storm thanks for joining and Carly thanks for joining Carly Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, yeah, I guess it might be kind of nice, to, but uh, Rhea, I'm, I'm responding to Rhea right now. Uh, Rhea says that it might be nice to have a little connector piece so the hats sit the same way. It would be nice. It, it, that would be nice, but like there's, it's so, you don't actually wear hats very often in the game. Um, it's like just to like steal the flag. So doing more like pieces i just want to keep it simple as simple as i can seeing as like it's pretty complicated already um but good good feedback i'll, I'll think about that i have thought about it jules actually brought that up yesterday as well so you're not the first to tell me that so it's definitely in in the back of my noggin do you have to be a pro member to test the game out nope 
Nope. You just need uh, you'll a membership level account, uh, like regular member or pro member, will be the first uh, to have uh, access to sign up for the uh, play test. So I'm gonna start with 500 people to test the game out, and then after that, we're gonna open it up to another like 500, and I'm gonna continu continuously like be doing like little spurts of testing this game out so I don't have too much feedback too fast. That's what I'm worried about. I don't want to have like, you know, a thousand different like forms that people fill out saying like, you should do this, you should do that. I want it to be like a little bit more just like little groups at first. Uh, that way when I make changes, I can like provide those, provide a new version of the game, uh, like the, the next level version of the game to a whole new audience like to, to new eyes so that I can get like fresh feedback and then I can also get like continuous feedback from people that have continuously been testing it so I'm gonna try to do it a little bit um, just different than I've done with stitched with stitched I kind of just like released the game like straight up like just like let it out there out into the world I got a lot of feedback I've been making changes but like because the game is like kind of already out there, it's it's a little difficult to make changes to it now. Um, where in Lava Run, I don't really have that kind of opportunity because it's not as like, like you still need to like print out cards for you to play with and you need to have a board to play on. So I can't really like make a lot of changes after the game is already out. So I kind of want to make sure it's perfect. And I think the best way to make sure it's perfect is to do it slow you know just to like do a little bit of people at a time but yeah how often do i go live carrie asks i usually go live once a week um usually it's on sundays but i do uh i am gonna start switching it up uh, i'm gonna be doing more live streams i think when i move uh but uh but i different kinds of days uh usually i do sundays starting at 1 p.m but I think I'm going to start switching it up, maybe do more than one live stream a week. Um, we are also going to try moving over to TikTok or Twitch as well. Uh, not like o only on Twitch. We're going to try to, I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to do YouTube and Twitch simultaneously so that we can like broaden our audience a little bit so that other people that don't usually watch live streams on YouTube can also join us and crochet along with us because uh, I think that'd be fun. Um, yeah, Sunshine, you'll be fine with just a regular membership. Also, I think you already actually have the rules, Sunshine. I think you were the only person I've I've sent the rules to early. I'm pretty sure because you crocheted that whole game for it. But yeah, um, uh, someone else said something. Oh yeah, how and the live stream question. Um, uh, I'm gonna start doing. I think I'm gonna start doing game live, like video game live streams on my Louis Loops channel too. So I think I'm gonna start to do, like obviously this channel will be only crocheting. So if you, if I ever am doing a live stream here, it'll be like, let's crochet something together. But on my other channel, Louis Loops, that was my original uh, YouTube channel. I think I'm gonna start doing uh, some more video game live streams, uh, some more like weird challenges and just like, just like fun stuff, testing stuff out over there. So yeah, keep a lookout. If you want to subscribe to my Louis Loops channel, you can, it's just Louis Loops here. I'll chat. I'll post in the chat. I'm just going to say boop. There you go. Bop. That's my other channel. If you want to subscribe over there, uh, to get notified when I start doing video game live streams, uh, that's where I'll be doing it there and probably twitch but i don't really know much about twitch yet so i need to learn a lot more about it yeah lose lives coming back that's right um uh someone asked uh oh how is jules jules is okay uh we're good though we're just like trying to move you know so it's like it's just been a very stressful month uh so yeah, we're good. We're just kind of like tr trucking along. We're just kind of like chugging along. That's what I should say. Like tr chugga chugga choo choo. That's what I mean. <laughs> uh. Uh. 
Aaliyah's back. Uh, Takoyaki. You're having trouble deciding the next color sh scheme. Should I make your their next marine red, white, or dark blue? Okay, so a little bit of explanation. Takoyaki makes these really cool um, marines uh, from the game Warhammer 40k, which is like, it's actually a little bit like Stitched. It's this game where you you have all these little miniature characters and you kind of like move across the board and it's like kind of like a giant war. It's a lot more advanced than Stitched. It's a lot more like detailed and you, you basically have a, a whole army that you're using to fight with. And he, um, usually in that game you actually like get little plastic miniatures and you paint them. Um, but Takoyaki actually crochets them. Uh, and ha he's been making these really cool little characters. They're called Marines in the game. And I think you should make it... I think you should do... You've done a lot of blue ones. You've also done a lot of red ones, though, too. Uh, maybe do a white one. Try the white one. That sounds kind of cool. But you, you have... Ha Actually, I don't know if you have any dark blue ones. So I would say either dark blue or white. Ooh. A leash... Elise asks, great, what a good question. That's a very good question, Elise. How do you finish a project that you don't like? That is a great question. Um, it depends on the project for me. Let's see, wait, hold on. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm on my last round here. Um, uh, that is a good question. Sometimes I just straight up don't. Uh, I, I have a lot of unfinished projects that have just, like, started accumulating dust, essentially. Um, here's a good example, actually, because I did this in college. Um, in college, I was working on a, on a, uh, giant blue spiky sh shell from Mario Kart. And I started it, and I realized that I didn't like it. I didn't like what was going on. And I didn't like the yarn that I was using, and I didn't like how it was working out. And I knew that I either had to remake it completely or uh, just, like, power through and finish this one. And I just gave up on it, and I put it into a box, and I went, you know what, I'll finish it later. And then I never did, and now it's here, and I'm, like, moving, and I'm going, like, what do I do with this thing? I'm probably just going to have to get rid of this. Uh, maybe unwind it, maybe use the yarn for stuffing, but... The real answer to your question is, if you really don't like the project, if it's only going to take half an hour to an hour to finish, you know, like you're almost done with it, but you don't like it, just power through, put on something that you can just distract yourself and just finish it up and just like be done with it. Give it to, give it away to someone that, you, you know, whatever, but if you're like two hours out or, or if you're less than halfway done with the project and you're not happy with it, just scrap it. Just get, just, you know, you learned something new. You learned you didn't want to make this anymore. <laughs> you, you, like, yeah, just go, go through with like, okay, well, the only way I would have known that I didn't want to make this project is if I started to make this project. And sometimes you just got to let things go. It's hard to do though. I agree. Like sometimes you put a lot of effort and work into something and then you're going to like just stop it. And like, why did I put in all this effort into it? But you know what? You did learn something along the way. You learned that you didn't want to make this. And there's only one way to find that out. And that's to do it. So it, thank you, Naughty Flowers. Naughty Flowers just said it in the best way possible. Commit or rib it. Rib it means like rip it out. Like just rip out all the yarn and reuse the yarn for a different project um i love that i love that commit a ribbit sometimes you just gotta like make that kind of decision last second you know Ooh, sunshine how do you get the instructions for stitch the game so my grandchildren can play it um Oh, there you go. Cooper just beat me to it. I was just going to say, go to stitchedthegame.com or what uh, Cooper just sent. It will take you directly to it. That's how you can find the rules. I tried to design the rules so that they work really well on a mobile phone. So you actually don't need to print anything out. You could just be like, here you go. 
just go to stitchthegame.com. All the rules are right there. Um, yeah, that's how you do it. And here's a little trick to anybody that is um, that wants the secret rules of the game. Uh, and this is just because I don't think that many people are actually going to pay attention to this part of the video other than the people that are watching this live stream. So I'm comfortable telling you a little secret. Uh, if you go to stitchthegame.com and then you go to the menu, which is like where all the different items you can use in the game are, and you click the heart, there's a little icon of a heart. If you click that, it'll take you to the secret menu that has a bunch more... Um, items and stuff that you can use for the game but shh, that's a secret don't tell nobody don't tell nobody all right see you later takayaki thanks for joining may the force be with you and also with you um uh five world explorers how do you play lava run if you uh want to learn how to play lava run the play test like the testing game because it's not ready to like be released publicly yet but the um test is going to come out in uh, august so if you have a membership level account on the website uh they're going to have the first chance to sign up for the play test uh and we're going to be looking for 500 people to sign up and then i'm going to close that play test uh, they're all going to test it out, and then a couple weeks afterwards, I'm going to do that again. So, yeah. The rules aren't out yet. We're testing it out in August. Oh, Natha Nathalie. What a unique name. I like your name. Uh, Nathalie said that they made a frog from the frog tutorial. Very cool. The little frog or the big frog? There's a reversible frog tutorial, too. That is way cool. And actually, the little frogs can hide underneath the big frogs. It's way cool. It's way cool. No joke. Ooh, Carrie, can I please tell you something that you should crochet next and I'll do it? Maybe something food. Okay, yeah, I got a good one. So this pattern actually is not originally designed by myself, but by another amigurumi artist that goes by Ravencraft Designs. Uh, she's a very talented amigurumi artist, but she doesn't design amigurumi anymore. This was actually her last amigurumi that she designed, and then she kind of she said that she retired. Basically, she didn't want to do amigurumi anymore. However, she did do another pattern with us before she did this uh, castle pattern for a um, a milkshake. And the tutorial is on our website. You can find it at clubcrochet.com slash milkshake. I think that's the quickest way to get there. Uh, and it is food, and it is a fun pattern. It's Honestly, it's really cool. Uh, I would, I say, make one of those. Make a milkshake. It's a pretty quick pattern, too. You might even be able to finish it before we finish this live stream because it's, it's a pretty fast one. Faster than making a castle, for sure. Okay. Next, we want to add the trim to this part. All right. Yeah, I really like that milkshake pattern. I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, I was so bummed. I emailed her, uh, well, I guess like a year ago now to ask if she wanted to do another amigurumi design. And she said, you know, I think I'm going to take a break from amigurumi design. Maybe I'll come back in a few years. And I was like, oh, no, that's such a bummer because she was so, such a talented amigurumi artist. But, you know, she's in college and wanted to just focus on school. And I, I get that. I feel it. Oh, my gosh. I wish you guys could see Jimbo right now. He is so cute he's asleep and upside down on my on my chair and oh my gosh he's just the cutest little cloud i love him he's so cute oh my god he's so cloud him and phoebe are the best things in the world i'm really worried about uh moving with them because you know we're driving 
it's like an eight hour drive to get down to Southern California where we're moving to. And that's a long way for cats, especially cats that never go in a car. So like Phoebe, our other cat, I don't think has left this apartment since we got her like three years ago. So <laughs> I'm really worried about it, you know? Um, yeah, so the the doctors gave us like basically cat tranquilizers to like help them like sleep throughout the drive because I know Phoebe might not be that bad because she's very like timid and quiet. But Jimbo is a nuisance when he is not happy. He is just like he wants to rip his way out of a out of a uh, anything that he's stuck in, and he wants to just scream and be like, "No, I don't wanna." So I'm just worried about him for the drive. I'm worried about him, but we'll find out on Sunday how it goes because Sunday is when I am moving. Oh, by the way, Carrie asked about live streams. Uh, like I was saying, I usually do Sundays. I don't know specifically when the next one's going to be uh, right now because I need to move down there, get all set up, and then get set up for the live streams and then figure out when the live stream's going to be. So I don't know when it's going to be specifically yet, but I do know we'll do a bunch of them in August. So once I am all set up, I'll let everybody know when the live streams are going to be, and they'll be... Uh, a bunch of dinosaur live streams in August and and September actually we're doing dinos for August and September so it'll be pretty cool um, yeah we're gonna do new dinosaurs for each month I thought it was it was uh, due to due time for new dinosaurs personally okay so we got the little sand castle towers done the small towers at least next we need to make I believe the large tower is next the large tower is weird because you got to make like two different parts and then you sew them together I really hope we have enough time for a beach ball today but if I don't finish this castle in the three hour mark we have two more hours if I don't make it by then, uh, I'm not going to be making a beach ball today just because there's too much for me to do outside of this. And, uh, yeah, I only have so long before Jules gets back from work, and I really want to clean everything up before she gets back. So if I can't finish it uh, in the allotted time, then I'm just going to have to not make a, sand, or a, a beach ball today, and I'm really sorry about that. But we'll see, you know? Maybe we, we might make it. Okay. Now I'm on the large base tower. That's what I'm making next. I should make Jimbo and Phoebe designs, Carly. I totally agree. Yes, Tassilarian, thank you. Yes, please uh, try to like this video. Uh, if you like what's going on here, it's the free, cheap way to help support this channel. Just like the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And, uh, oh, and have a great day. If you're not having a great day, a great way to support this channel is just, you know, have a great day instead of not having a great day. <laughs> what are you guys crocheting, by the way? I know we have uh, some people making blankets. Uh, Carrie's going to maybe make a... Um, a milkshake. What else is everybody crocheting today? Four, five, six. Ooh, will I be putting more of my old patterns into the club crochet shop eventually? Yes, I will. Um, I do want to put a little bit more effort into them before I put like re-release them. Uh, but the brontosaurus, I think the brontosaurus actually already is in the club crochet, in like the shop. Um, the hummingbird is not. I do need to work on that one. If you want to make a something like close to the hummingbird. 
uh, consider checking out the snowy plover pattern on the website. Uh, that is the closest that I have right now to the hummingbird, but I will be putting out more of those, like the Yoshi pattern I want to put more effort into and then re-release it and stuff like that. Um, I also want to redo some of the more intro tutorial patterns, so I want to redo a granny square pattern uh, and maybe come out with some new granny square kind of stuff. I want to do a, um, uh, a new beanie, maybe some bag, like just some like smaller ones too, but yeah, totally feel it, totally feeling it. Ooh, a little castle but in pink. Oh, well, that's, that's a good idea. Catherine's making hot pads. That's fun. <laughs> Fruity Frog Creations is just making a blueberry. A big blueberry or a little blueberry? Or just a miniature blueberry. Ha. Hello, Dad. My dad is in the chat right now. He's Bobby4M. Metalworks. That's my pops. And uh, I am packed up everywhere but this craft room. Yeah, my dad's coming up this weekend on Friday. They're driving up to help me move out on um, Saturday and Sunday. And yeah, the majority of the place is packed, but the craft room is not packed because I needed to finish doing work first. So that's where I'm at right now. But after this live stream, I have got to pack everything. Actually, I got to do some photos and then I've got to pack. Yes, the milkshake tutorial is on my channel, um, but I think you can just find it by going to clubcrochet.com slash milkshake. Let me see. Let's let, uh, let me let me check for you. Slash milkshake. If it's not milkshake, it might just be shake. No, it's not milkshake. Music ended. Good timing. go yeah it's just at clubcrochet.com slash shake here i'll put it in the chat right now for you milkshake pattern here boom there you go i just put it in the chat for you uh there is a video tutorial for it too bye nathalie thanks for joining Who is we? Does someone else crochet with you? No, I just say we as in like the us, you know, you, you, me, we. Because this is a club, you know, I just think of us as like a group. Yes, and Naughty Flowers is right. Some are available in uh, Spanish. Uh, we don't have, I don't think we have any in any languages other than Spanish yet, but I would like to do that eventually. Have a lot of different languages available. You the best. No, you. Okay. We're, we're, you know, we're doing fine on, on this little base. We got, this is going to be the bottom, or no, this is going to be the top of it. This is going to be the center and the top of the center of it. See, it's going to go like right here. And then there's going to be another little piece that goes on top of it. Yeah, I, I don't, I, did I say that the shake was beginner friendly? I don't know if the shake actually is beginner friendly. I would say, I would say it's like e an easy or medium pattern, but I don't think it's great for complete beginners. And if I did say that, I'm sorry, that's, that was, uh, hopeful thinking at best. <laughs> The 
music's so chill. I love it. So chill. Oh my god, my cat is so cute, you guys. It's not fair. It's illegal how cute this cat is. He's twitching. I can sleep. Too cute. Bang, bang, bang. I'm just gonna pinch this edge so it's a little bit more sharp of an edge. Yeah. Keep going. Oh. Phoebe's here. You guys wanna say hi to Phoebe? Maybe she'll come over here. Come here, Phoebe. Come here. Not you. Come here. Come here. Phoebe, come here. Come here. I want to show people. They want people to say hi to you. This is Phoebe, our very shy kitty. She's so cute and she really likes her belly being rubbed. Hey, Phoebe. Hello. Do you wanna go in the light box? No, I can't let you in the light box. She's so sweet though. I love her. I think she wants a friend right now. She just woke up from a nap. She's very quiet and very chill. Compared to Jimbo, at least. Okay. Have a fun time being a cat. <laughs> a special surprise. We should do something special to the castle. What should we do to the castle? Any ideas for how to make this castle nice and special? She, I think Phoebe want, is hungry. She's so sweet. Standard issue kitty. Basically just a standard issue kitty cat. Jimbo is not standard issue. Jimbo is a dog in a cat's body. He, he licks everything. He's very talkative. He plays fe, which is like the first half of fetch. Uh, he doesn't bring it back. Um, <laughs> and uh, he, like, meows all the time. Oh, my God. He's so noisy. I'm really shocked that he hasn't been more noisy during this live stream. Femke, hello. How are you? Hope you're having a great day. Hey, thanks for subscribing, Laura. Laura. If you're in the live stream right now. Add a moat. How would I add a moat? I might be able to do that, actually. I got an idea how I could do a moat. Will I be making the beach ball pattern available even if I don't get around to it? Let's see. I can do that. I think it's just at clubcrochet.com slash beach ball. Let's see if it requires a membership. Oh, it does. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll make it I'll make it available for uh, today and tomorrow. It's a fun pattern. It's fun because I use a whole new uh like color chart thing for it too. So that's kind of cool. A draw bid, draw bridge would be fun. We could totally do a draw bridge. A moat would be fun though too. I might be able to do a moat. Okay, well once this loads, I'll, I'll make it available for free. I just realized I didn't even like this video. I needed to like this video too. Gosh, what a hypocrite. Okay. 
Hello, Claire. How you doing? You crocheting today? What are you making? A koala bucket hat. That's pretty dope. That's what Femke's crocheting. Carrie wants me to guess what her cat's name is. I'm going to guess your cat's name is... Is um Baxter. Is your cat's name Baxter? I got a friend named Baxter. And it sounds like a cat the name of a cat, so or a dog. Actually his full name is Baxter Bailey, and he is a. Uh, that is definitely the name of a dog. <laughs> We make fun of him sometimes because of that. Okay. Uh, beach ball pattern is uh, now free. For a short amount of time. Twiz says that they have two cats with scientific names. Can I guess? Ooh, Can you give me a hint? What kind of... Like, there's a lot of sciences out there. Maybe Beaker and... Beaker and Fizz. Aubrey. Oh, I like that. That's what a cute name for a cat. I love that. Femke said that today they made a rope with tons of yellow crochet flowers hanging all over. Whoa, that sounds like a. That's awesome. That is effort, dude. That. Wow. That's very cool. Your your room must look very cool now. Is it like all the way around like the border of the edge of the room or something? That's a fun idea though. I like it. That sounds like it took a long time. All the flowers at least. Oh my gosh. Coop. You're crazy dude. Oh. Tesla and Curry. Uh, uh, oh. Curry? Cur I think I said it right. That's cute, Twiz. That's a cute name. Tesla's a very cute name for a kitty. Oh, thank you for sharing that, Coop. Uh, Cooper said that they're trying to make all the patterns from the library as finger puppets. Oh my god, you're crazy, dude. Are you even making, like, the big patterns finger puppets? Are you making, like, a giant... Like, are you making, it like, a drag... Is there, like, gonna be a dragon finger puppet? That's kind of weird. Well, maybe not. That could be kind of cool. Let's see. What, how many rounds am I supposed to do here? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to be six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're on actually the last round there. Yeah, you're crazy, dude. I think Sunshine also was trying to do something similar. They were making like all the patterns from the library, but not as finger puppets. And also, I don't think they made all the patterns. I think only the small ones. I'm not sure, though. That is way cool. Coop, Cooper's moving on to the Mario patterns now. Way, way cool. I want to do more Mario patterns. Like, I used to have like a Goomba pattern and like a Piranha plant that were like really nice and tiny. I want to put more effort into those and re-release them. That was with the the Yoshi pattern, same kind of dealio. A full stage of characters. Wouldn't it be cool if I crocheted all the characters from Super Smash Brothers? That would be dope. I don't have that kind of time, but you know, we have a few. We have got like, we got Link, we got Mario, we got, there's a Yoshi, there's a Kirby. Oh, I need to make a Kirby, new Kirby pattern. Cause it's the 31st, 35th anniversary, I think of Kirby. So I should put more, I should put some effort into that. All right, so now I'm decreasing it in. One, two, and then a decrease. Put shank out. I'm gonna put shank out. 
because he was sitting there anyhow. He was just waiting to join. <laughs> Music's so nice. So chill. That's okay, Lizette. Uh, Lizette, you can find the pattern for the sand castle in the description of this video or at clubcrochet.com slash castle. There's also a link, I th think, right here. Clubcrochet.com slash castle. Uh, and Cooper has been putting it into the chat every now and then as well. It's going to be free for today and the next few days. Um, and then I will turn it off of, of being for free uh, after that. But just for like, basically like for the live stream and for a little bit afterwards. Uh, do the link for the spiked bobble. The spiked bobble can be found at clubcrochet.com slash spiked bobble or SBO slash SBO should take you to the spiked bobble pattern. I try to make all my patterns really easy to access. And uh, if you do have trouble with it, uh, if you go to the website, there's a like in the menu, there's a little search button uh, that'll take you to all my patterns as well. Uh, like really easy, quick, quick search will work. Bye, Carrie. Thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed the live stream. I'll be back again soon, so make sure to subscribe and, you know, hit the little bell icon, stuff like that. Where do I come from? Where are you from? I am a, a California boy. I was, uh, I'm from Southern California. Uh, I currently live in San Francisco, California, but I'm moving back to Southern California to, to Ventura County uh, on Sunday. And then... Uh, yeah, hopefully to Ventura proper soon, too. Okay, we're going to stuff this up a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's use some of these extra threads, too, while we're at it. Nikki! Oh my god, welcome! Long time lurker, first time uh, comment. Love the sandcastle and would love to smash, would love Smash Bros, too. Heck yes. Thank you for commenting. <laughs> That's really sweet. Thank you so much for, for going out of your comfort zone and actually commenting. I really appreciate it. Long time lurker. That's funny. I love it. I'm a long time lurker on a lot of channels, so I totally feel. I totally know how you feel. I watch a lot of YouTube. And sometimes I comment. but I totally get it. Thank you so much for going out of your comfort zone. I really appreciate it. You're from the Netherlands. Oh my God, it's almost midnight there. That's crazy. I wanna visit the Netherlands really bad. We just found flights for like $300 round trip to the Netherlands uh, with, a, with a stop in, in Iceland for like, like an, a few nights and we were like "Ooh, should we do this but it's we can't figure it out we can't figure out the right timing to go right now but you know hopefully soon hopefully soon one two three four five six i've always want to see the netherlands you know how you say the netherlands in uh in japanese orlando it might just be how you say netherlands in whatever what language do you speak Femke, like what's what's the what's the um, language of the Netherlands? And is it is it called Orland Orlando, Orland? I don't know why they call it Orlando. It kind of sounds like Orlando, like Florida. At least that's what the app that I've been using calls it. To learn Japanese. <laughs> I've been trying to learn Japanese for the past uh, almost year now, actually. I'm at 302 days straight of learning Japanese on Duolingo. 
do it every day. Uh, I took it for four years in high school, so I'm like kind of trying to relearn it. Uh, but gosh, Japanese is really hard, guys. It is like super hard language. Nederland. In Dutch, huh? Oh, I didn't know it was it was uh, Dutch. I didn't know you guys speak Dutch there. Cool. I do not understand uh, the the Dutch accent at all. <laughs> Jules does. Jules used to date a guy from uh, from Denmark. They speak Dutch in Denmark, right? No, they speak Danish. They speak Danish. It's different. They both just start with a D. I'm just a goofy little American boy that doesn't know things, so I'm sorry. I'm trying, I swear. All right. We've got the middle... Uh. Edging done. Now we need to add... Oh, we need to add the edging to this. Okay. Whoa! Now we're adding. Well, I don't adding. I need to get new glasses so bad. Look at how far my glasses has like have like gone down on my nose. It's like they're they're so old. I've had these glasses for like probably like five six years, <laughs> and I haven't gotten new ones. And I need new ones really bad. Um. But I haven't, you know, with, like, I realized, like, a month or two ago that I needed new glasses. And I was like, you know what? I'll wait till after I move. And now, like, the move is coming. And I'm like, oh, I just want new glasses now. New glasses are so fun, though. I can try to say something in Dutch. I'm guessing what Femke said is in Dutch. Ein zuadre polici. Did I say that right? What did I just say, though? I have no idea what I said. Whoa, that is that is one heck of a sentence. I have no idea what that sentence says, but there's a lot in there. Jahor ik zu willen dat meer mensen op het internet Netherlands patten ik had ek enorm veel ha ha ha. No idea. No idea. Don't make me say anything I shouldn't. <laughs> You're gonna give me a cease and desist on here because I just don't know what I'm saying. Looks kind of like a hand, doesn't it? Hello, it's like a baby's hand. Ha ha. Oh. Y'all, I barely speak English. <laughs> I said one, two, three. Okay, wait. With a terrible accent? Let's see. So you're saying ein, zwei, ein, zwei, drei, polizzi. Oh, 
Oh, you made Pickle the dinosaur. I know Pickle the dinosaur. Very cute. I feel like Ein is said right. I feel like I'm saying Ein right at least. Try saying, oof, what? Now, see, now you're, I feel like you're trying to trick me, Femke. All right, I'll try to say it. J, is it J, like French, or is it J? Like the letter J. I'm gonna say it's like French. J, Molder. J Moeder. J Moeder. I feel like I'm, uh, like trying to swallow a full anchovy when I'm trying to say that. <laughs> J. Does that mean I? Like in French? Like je suis? Je. Je. Alright, that helps. A little bit. Ooh, wait. Hello, Joe. How you doing? Welcome to the live stream. Wait, what? Zwei is pronounced Zvi. Okay, I'm getting some, some. <laughs> okay, okay. One person says Zwe is pronounced Svi, and then the other Nana says Zwe is pronounced more like Kwe. K. So, Polzi is just wrong. <laughs> You made me say your mom in Dutch, you butt. <laughs> so, je molder. You guys are confusing me. <laughs> Tina. Tina, you just use letters in there. Uh, I will try my best to say what you just wrote. Zve. Okay. Tina said, can I say Brod Grod Med Flod? I have no idea if I pronounced that right, what it means, or anything. But I'm trusting you, Tina. Don't you make me say something I shouldn't. It's Swedish. Okay, we got our like our center piece done. Now we need to make things that go on top of it. The medium tower. Yeah. Put that to the side. We'll stuff with that extra end later. But here, you can see how this is kind of coming together. So this is going to be the center piece. There's going to be stuff on top of it. And then these are going to go to the side of it. So you see, it's going to be like one, and then one right there. And then we're going to make it go up in the center a little bit. Looks cute, right? I think it looks pretty cute. Annie! Annie has a question. What is the hardest crochet stitch? Um, I think, I mean, that depends. Oh my God, do you hear my cat? Listen, hey, can you hear him? Okay, okay, Jimbo wants to say hi. Jimbo, come here. Yeah. Let's say hi. Say hi. Don't bite me. 
be very biting. Do you want to purr in the microphone? Say hi. What? Do you want to say anything to the p nice people in the chat? Or do you just want to bite me in the shoulder? Thank you. Wow, you're, you're so sweet. Okay. Bye-bye. I kicked him out. He's too cute. We'll, we'll never get anything done with him. Ooh, the loop stitch is actually really fun, Mariah. I I I think it is a it's a tough stitch, but I really like that one. Marie, hi. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, right? He's so cute. You should hear him now though. Now he's like screaming. He's like, "Mau! Mau!" Okay, so we are going, we're making the medium tower now. I know he's so cute. Um, oh yeah, okay, so my, I think it depends on what I'm making for my heart, the hardest stitch for me. I would say probably the hardest stitch is like, like it's really hard to make the legs for the T-Rex pattern. It's basically like two spiked bobbles shoved together into one. Um, that one is really difficult. Uh, yeah, the spiked bobble is pretty hard. Bobble stitches can be pretty hard in general. Um, I have a really hard time with the puff stitch for some reason. Because it's like you have so much on your crochet hook and it's like kind of hard to work it around. But it's really not that hard. Uh, the loop stitch is pretty fun, actually. I, I really like the loop stitch a lot. It's really fun to make. The X stitch, yes. Uh... Uh, yeah, it's basically just a single crochet, but you do a yarn under instead of a yarn over um, for the X stitch. I don't personally really like it because you have to like not use the X stitch when you do certain other stitches and it completely changes the way that your crochet looks. Uh, to, or it doesn't really completely change it, but it does slightly change the way all your single crochets look. Um, but this is how you make it. If you want to learn how to do the X stitch, this is how you do it. Let me focus a little bit better here. Um, so regular single crochet, you go into the stitch, you yarn over, you know, you put the yarn over your crochet hook, pull it through, and then you do it again, yarn over like that. But for the X stitch, you go into the stitch and then you yarn under. Okay, so you put the yarn, you put the hook over the yarn and then you pull that through and then you do it again over here, like that. And it, it makes your like stitch just a little bit different. It's really not that big of a difference, but it will change the way that your stitch looks a little bit. See how it's like, that one's just like slightly smaller than that one. So when you do the whole, your whole, oh my gosh, my cousin's calling me right now. Um, when you do your whole, uh, your whole piece with that stitch, uh, it looks completely different. Ooh, the crocodile stitch. Is that the one where it looks like um, kind of like shells? Like a bunch of like scales? I like that one. That one's fun. It's really hard though, yeah. Okay, I think that is the end of that row. Round. Hello, Wee. How are you doing? We're on 103. Sir Pog oh yes, the he the yes, that um Was that what it was was it called the crocodile stitch? To make the shells of the this you you're saying this one. You're saying this stitch on the back here. That one is really tough. But gosh, doesn't it look cool? It looks really cool. It's very unique. Yeah, it's very weird. 
Oh, I'm out of focus, I just realized. Pinsor uh, asks, can I get Dino Crochet free, please? Uh, yeah, there's a free dino. You can find the free dinosaur patterns at uh, clubcrochet.com slash dinos, or the, the Triceratops is a free pattern. Um, I think the T-Rex is currently still free. But yeah. Oh, it's a different, if, it's different than the hedgehog. Huh, I don't know if I've seen this hedgehog. Let me look it up. Sir, Pearl, Gray Hedge, Hog. Oh. Oh, wow, that is a weird one, huh? What a, what a unique little pattern he made. When did this come out? Whoa. Yeah, that is a complicated, that's a complicated one. It kind of doesn't even... It, <laughs> It looks like a very like fancy hedgehog. Uh, do I sometimes just crochet in public? Yes, Femke, literally all the time. I every every where I go, I usually have a crochet hook and some yarn in my pocket. Um, I crochet while I walk a lot. I crochet like whenever I'm on the bus or riding in a car. I I am I am very much addicted to crocheting. I love it. I crochet all the time. So, yes. Crochet in public all the time. It's really fun to crochet on a bus, uh, especially when like you're on a bus for a long time, like in you know, if you have like a half hour bus ride and there's like a little kid also on the bus. I love crocheting and giving something to like the little kid at the end or like a flight. I really like crocheting on flights. And then giving whatever I make to like a little kid to say like, here you go. It's really fun. I think that's a fun thing to do. Yeah, crocheting a coffee shop's fun. That's a fun one too. <laughs> that was one of your first ones. Was that, was that a hedgehog? You're crazy, dude. <laughs> Oh, great question. Five World Explorer asks, how do I make the kits? How do I know how much is the right amount of yarn? Uh, I test it out a lot. Um, so what I usually do to find out how uh, much yarn I need for a crochet kit is I'll I'll do a little guess. So I'll be like, uh, for example, um, like this much this month's dinosaur patterns. I was like, okay, I, I know... I want the kits to be enough so that everybody can make like five dinosaurs. So I'll be like, okay, I think I need about 150, 100, 115 to 150 feet uh, of this color and like 50 of this color and this blah, blah, blah. And then I crochet it all. And then with all of the leftovers, I measure how much I have left over and I subtract that from what I use, from. Uh, from what I originally measured to know how much yarn I needed for the pattern and then I always give a, a like extra like like an extra like 25% more yarn um, just in case you know because because it really sucks when you're crocheting and you like mess it up and to the point where you're like dang I need to cut it and just restart so yeah that's that's how I measure and figure out the kits and uh, go from there yeah What, uh, what do I crochet? I feel like I need everything with me. Oh, you have you checked out the, the um. My little tiny frog pattern, uh, that's the one I really like crocheting in public because all you need for that, is um. You just need one color, of yarn, and then a little bit of white. Just like seriously, like, that much white is all you need, and then eyes. And so I usually just put all that in my pocket. Um, that pattern actually can be made without using a darning needle, without ever using even a needle. So you can do the whole thing with just a crochet hook. So usually I just have white yarn, a specific color, a crochet hook, 
and then I sometimes keep stuffing in my pocket or I keep like magnets if I want to um, but yeah that's usually what I do stuff like that or I'll do a pattern that doesn't need any different colors at all so like the pig uh, just uses all pink yarn or I'll do like I don't know usually I just like to make small things sometimes I like to make flowers because you don't need any kind of different yarn for that you just need a crochet hook and just any kind of yarn so yeah I don't walk around with a bottle of eyes in my pocket no I don't I walk around with uh, but I do walk around with a little um, like I take out a bunch of eyes and I put them into my my breast pocket so usually I have like a pocket here and I just like fill it with eyes <laughs> and sometimes like some magnets like all of my jackets have have uh, have eyes in the pockets which is pretty funny oh cat hello happy birthday I'm so sorry I missed Sunday's birthday I hope you had a great birthday on Sunday I know it was your birthday so I hope you had a great day okay one more round here what is the most complicated amigurumi that I've ever crocheted? Hmm. Most complicated. I think the most complicated pattern that I've come out with, uh, at least the most recent one, is the one that's coming out like next week for this Anki Vasaurus. Because it is pretty complicated. You know, you need to know a lot of different stitches. There's like these weird stitches on the back. There's a lot of bobble stitches in it and like these weird spikes on the side. This one's pretty complicated. Um, most complicated thing that I've ever made, though. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe the dragon? This? This one's pretty complicated. For the same reason, you know, you have to use, like, weird stitches. A lot of different spiked bobbles for the toes and everything. Little teeth. You gotta do some weird stuff for the mouth. There's a lot of like wire in it and the wings are crazy, but super cool. This might be one of the most complicated ones. It's a pretty good one. Um, how do I crochet in a plane? When they go through security, they don't take away the crochet hook? Nope, they never take the crochet hook away from me, ever. Um, the only problem with crocheting on a plane is you can't take your scissors on the plane. That's a hard one. What I do, though, is if you don't bring them with you, you can buy um, uh, fingernail clippers. You can buy fingernail clippers, and they're great. They're, they're perfect for cutting yarn, actually, and you can bring those on a plane. So I usually have uh, fingernail clippers in my pocket as my, as my like, scissors because they're way easy to use. Uh, every airport has them um, and they always have crochet you can bring your crochet hook in an airport that's that's not a problem uh, at least it never has been for me so so we go one two three four five six okay so this is our last round of the medium tower before we need to make the edge Hello, Emily. How are you? Femke is more of a fashion crochet. I'm guessing you mean like wearables. You like to like crochet hats and, and sweaters and, and whatnot, things that you would wear. Is that what you mean by that? But yeah, I totally get it. That's how Jules is a knit uh, wear designer. My fiance is a knit wear designer. Uh, and she also, she does not like you know, she doesn't make amigurumi toys or anything, but, uh, yeah. But for me, I can't really, there's not a lot of designs that I can as, like, a, well, I mean, I can wear a lot of designs, but a lot of more designs are designed around, uh, women. So, there's not as many things that I can crochet for myself, uh, but I can make toys, and I really like toys, so. <laughs> Hello, Sophia, how are you? Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna actually, we're gonna have a little bit extra yarn because we need to sew this onto the other part here. So we put 
this to the side. We need to make the edging around that. You're renovating a shed. That's fun. How am I doing? I'm doing okay. Um, I'm getting ready to move on Sunday, so our life's been a little bit hectic. There are our apartments filled with boxes and just empty shelves, and it's very echoey. So it's a little strange, but you know, we're getting through it. We're almost, we're almost there. Today I get to pack up my craft room here after this live stream. Um, I got to get a few pictures of a pattern, uh, but then after that, I've got to pack everything up, and this is going to be my last live stream in this space, so it's kind of sad, but also kind of exciting, you know? Rachel is making a blueberry pie and is really coming along, crocheting a blueberry pie. Easier to crochet than it is to make a blueberry pie in my experience. But that's just because I'm not very good at baking. Thank you. I hope the move goes well as as well. Jimbo is fighting the door right now. He wants to come in. I need to fix this focus. There we go. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Yes, yeah, when I end up having kids, uh, cat, I definitely, they will have a lot of toys. <laughs> a lot, like, way too many toys. I'll probably get really into crocheting, like, clothes for babies one day. And that's how you guys will know that we're having a kid or something. You'll be like, there's a lot of baby patterns coming out. <laughs> Jimbo wants in. This is just my last live stream here. Um, I'm going to be doing, obviously, a lot more live streams. In fact, we're going to be doing more live streams when I move. Uh, uh, but, yeah, this is my last live stream in this space. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. But you know what? I'm hoping that what, what we figure out after this is going to be more exciting. So, yeah. I'm like worried and not worried, you know? It's, I can take a picture of it, but you're gonna be like, oh my God, it's so messy. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I will, I'll take a picture of it before I take everything apart tonight. I'm a very, it's a very messy room though, for sure. I mean, I've been like in this corner of this room uh, as my office for like, seven eight years now so it's like you know it's just accumulated a lot of stuff needs a it needs a cleaning for sure i'm very excited to reorganize my life you know what i mean you know what i mean Ooh, you never use patterns. Wow. Is it the written patterns or the video tutorials? You never use, do you ever use video patterns? Oh my gosh, Jimbo, you're crazy, my dude. He wants in really bad. Okay, this is going to get this is going to This is going to get sewn onto here. See? And then these are going to go on the sides. Um, we can actually start sewing this on now. And then we can make the topmost peak in a second. So let's start with this. Should we make the peak of our sandcastle in a different color? I don't know. I don't know if we should. Okay, I'm going to let Jimbo in even though I shouldn't. Oopsies. Okay. I let Jiminy in even though I really shouldn't be doing this. Because he's just going to yell at us the whole time. Can you hear him? Hi. Do you want to say hi again? What? Don't bite me. 
he's not. He's just, he just wants attention. He started praying immediately. Cat ASMR. Where are you going? Oh my god, he's just, you're just very sweet. Yes, I know, I love you too. Okay. Are you happy? Are you gonna, are you gonna shut up for a little bit? No. No. He, he says, no, I don't think I will. I don't think I will shut up for any time. No. When I buy yarn, have I ever received a yarn barf? Uh, <laughs> yes, I have. When I was... Hi, Jiminy. When I used to, um... Yeah, when I used to buy, uh... Uh, a lot more yarn. I have gotten yarn barf before, and it's the worst. You feel like, what the heck? I spent money for this. Why is it like, br oh my gosh, Jiminy! It could be a birthday cake. It definitely kind of looks like a birthday cake. Um, but yeah, I hate it when he comes out and it's all like tangled up, and you're like, what the heck? I spent all this money for this yarn, and now it's just like a tangled mess. Um. How old am I? I am 30 years old. I'm 30 years old. I turned 30 this year. I know. I probably don't look it. I don't think I look 30. But maybe. Who knows? Jimbo, do I look 30 to you? Jimbo doesn't think I look 30. That's good. You're so sweet, boy. Yeah. He's just he's just headbutting my knees over and over. Hi. You're going to get kicked out again. Don't. Now he's stealing the yarn. <sighs> Hi, buddy. We're in the same time zone. No, we're not. We're not. If you're going to bed, it's midnight. No, we're not in the same time. Well, I, maybe you're talking to someone else, but not me. Okay, so now, I, by the way, I'm sewing on this one to this one. You know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. When is my birthday? My birthday is in January. January 18th. Okay, buddy. He's going to start biting my leg soon. If you bite me, you're out. Stop. Hard, hard no to that, bud. He just keeps on... Hi. He's such a wiener. <laughs> yeah. He's going, no! I won't leave! He's just gotta get this out of his system, and then he'll go back and take a nap again. Hopefully. Elise, thanks for joining. I don't look a day over 40. Well, that's perfect. I love it. I'm glad. Can you hear him? Here, we'll turn the... Turn the music off. Go on. Shout for them. Shout. Shout. Let it all out. Jimbo. Hi. 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 Do you want to say hi? Hi. 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 <laughs> He's really cute, though. But he's very head buddy. Hi, Mila. Um, do I ever get hand or wrist pain? Uh, I do sometimes. Uh, I don't anymore as much because I know, like, I can tell the signs of when I am starting to get hand or wrist pain, so I just stop for a while. Um, but if I'm crocheting really tightly or you know, I'm stressed out, sometimes I'll, I'll crochet tightly and I'll, I'll get hand or wrist pain. Uh, what I do for that, uh, if you are having hand or wrist pain, there are a few things you can do. The first thing is stop crocheting just for a sec, just for like a couple of days. 
Just give it a break. Let your let your wrists relax. Okay, buddy, buddy. You're out. You're out. He's biting and yelling. I love you, but you need to be nice. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry, but he's out. Not allowed anymore. Um, maybe he'll be back in a bit. Uh, but yeah, the, the quickest way thing to do is you need to just like give your wrists a break. Um, just don't do the same repetitive motion over and over again. The other things you can do are uh, wrist guards. I really like uh, wrist guards a lot. Um, or at least that, that's what I have used uh, to prevent carpal tunnel. They're basically like little thing, like 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 gloves that like hold your wrist nice and tight like this. And it really feels like good. It really helps out with the wrist pain. Um, uh, let's see, what else? What's another trick? Don't crack your knuckles so much. I crack my knuckles all the time. Uh, but you probably shouldn't do that. That doesn't, that probably doesn't help. <laughs> um, and then there's also like rich wrist stretches and like, you should be doing this like, you should definitely like do this in between rounds. Just like open and close your hands all the way. Open all the way, close all the way. That helps a lot too. Keep Just keeping stretched so you're not like always like this crocheting. Yeah, those are, those are some tips that I have. Anybody else got uh, good tips for uh, helping to prevent wrist pain? Three and four. One, two, three, and yeah, we're on we're on track, which is good. What does CAP stand for? The myth of getting arthritis is a CAP, C-A-P. I don't know what that stands for. All right, almost got this sewn on. Nice. Our first piece sewn together. There we go. We got a little cake. Doesn't look like a little cake. Or like a rocket ship. Or maybe not a rocket ship. Kind of looks like a... Maybe like a tooth. Kind of looks like a tooth a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Looks like something. Thanks, Ambil Amkilla. Yeah, I don't think we're going to end up getting to a beach ball today, unfortunately. I think that was a little too optimistic. Um, okay, so we have the top of our sandcastle to make, and then we need to sew these on, do that outside rim, and then maybe try doing a moat, maybe? But that looks pretty good, right? Maybe I'll do them like, maybe I'll sew these on a little further back like that. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, next up. Oh, we need some coffee. Um, okay, should we make the top of our sandcastle in beige, like a, re like a sandcastle? Or should we do it with uh, in a different color? What do you guys think? Answer now or forever hold your your butts. Because we could do either. 
Honestly, it wouldn't be that crazy to do either one. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this end too. Um, in the meantime, while you guys are letting me know your opinion on that, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna make our little flag. New color, different color. Okay, so people, you got, you want a different color. Okay. Well, if our flag is going to be red, then should the top be red also? Should it be not red? What do we think? We want about like that? Or do you think we want to cut it like... A cool color. All right, let's do let's do a questionnaire then. Let's do a form uh, fill out a questionnaire. This will be the flag though. Look how cute the flag is. Right? Isn't that cute? It's adorable. It's gonna go on top of our castle. Okay, so we got. Let's let's do a vote on what color to do the tip of the castle make the top of our castle we can do yellow uh, blue, and Okay, question asked. You guys let me know. Oh, Laura's, at, Laura's talking about SCPs over there. I love SCPs. They're so cool. Ooh, Rainbow would be cool too, though. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and sew these on while you guys are voting on that. Because I can sew those these on, like, whenever, you know? So I'll go ahead and sew these on. Uh, there's really not much to sew on, though. It's just, you basically just, like, I'm just going to go, like, in one, right? Yeah, in this side, out this side. One, two, three, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And then back in, I'll go out to this next stitch down. I'm basically just keeping like the top of it sewn on and then the bottom gets like attached with a, um, uh, with another round of crocheting like it's crocheted together on the bottom do 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 Here. I don't think I'm going to double knot these together just yet either because I, I might have to move them where they're sewn on. So, you know, I'd rather just be safe than sorry and not like double knot these together and be like, oh, no, you know, we'll put this right here for right now. Looks pretty good, though. 
Okay, so what color are we making, guys? Oh, it's a tie. It's a tie between three different colors. Come on. Uh, oh, wait, never mind. No, it's not a tie anymore. But it's a close, it's a close one. So you guys think yellow? Wow. All right. I mean, you're, you're the voters, not me. Uh, where do I buy my yarn? I get um, uh, most of my yarn. <laughs> Ever... No, not yellow. You know, I ain't the voter. I did vote once, though. I do get to vote again now. Because I have a second count. Let's see. Can I vote again? No, I already voted. Oh. I'm going to go. Man. Well, there's actually a few different kinds of yellow we can do also. We can do gold, which is more, it's, I mean, it counts. You know? We could do this one. Actually, I do like this one a little bit more. It looks more like golden, but actually. The red flag with pink edge. What do we think? Gold or like the yellow yellow? Well, it's still tied with the blue, though. This is the blue we're going to use, though, if we do blue. So the blue is pretty nice, actually. I, I kind of do like the blue. But. Ooh. Okay, so it'll be between gold and blue. So I don't think this yellow is gonna work for me. It's too close to the thing. Where do you vote? Vote in the chat. Uh, there's a little thingamabob to vote on. Sazzy Nat, I like your name. <laughs> do you get a flower crown in that picture? Looks dope. Okay, ending poll. All right, it's going to yellow. Yellow won by like a pretty substantial margin. So we're going to go gold instead of yellow, yellow. But I think that works. I like it. I can't, yeah, you know, we can do a flag for each tower. That's kind of fun. We can do that. Um, so now we're making the topmost peak. You only have to actually make one of these. One. Four. Eight. Oh, I was supposed to chain one. Oopsies. Let's try that again. Okay, so you're supposed to slip stitch one like that, and then do that. I forget, because I usually don't do that. I'm out of focus again, huh? I like to use autofocus if I could, but it like unfocuses my autofocus all the time and like will just randomly decide like I want to focus on the mushroom and I'm like no <laughs> no down Ooh, what's for dinner leaf sauce? I want dinner. 
I want dinner. What am I gonna have for dinner? Who knows? Ugh. Going a little too, pushing a little too tight right now. Loosen up. We gotta loosen it. Three. Four. Ooh, gotta love Chinese food. Mmm. We got Chinese food, uh, no, we got Thai food last night. We got Chinese food the night before. That's kind of one of the things with moving. Like, we're, we're basically, our, our, you know, our, um, refrigerator's, like, almost empty. So, we're kind of out of options here. We've got to keep ordering food, which kind of sucks. But it's like, I don't want to buy a bunch of groceries before we move, so... Gives us the opportunity to order from places uh, for the last time, too. You know, that pizza place we always order from, and stuff like that. We'll go three. Okay, so we want to go up to 12 this round, and this is going to get us up to 10. So, we got one more round after this. Oh! Okay, down to down the piece when I'm doing that slip stitch and chain at the end of the round. Is there a different what? Yeah, what you can do, Laura, instead of doing the slip stitch and then chain at the end of the round. So, let me first explain why we do that. The reason I do the reason we do that slip stitch and chain is so that each the end of each round like grows evenly on both sides, but you don't have to do it. You can just skip the slip stitch chain and just keep crocheting around as if it's not there at all and uh yeah I, I think it'll probably still be fine you might have a little bit of a tilt uh to like the tip of the like this part might have a little bit of a tilt but it'll probably be fine so you could probably just not do that i totally get where you're coming from though i usually don't like to do that Because of the little, yeah, the stitches on the side. I, I totally get it. One, two. Four, and then our increase. Six. Thanks for joining, Femke. I will be back soon. So make sure to like and subscribe. And if you little hit that little bell, it'll let you know whenever I do more live streams. And then our increase here. Oopsies. Five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 12. Perfect. And then we just slip stitch. Cut the yarn. And we'll sew this on. We could make little tiny towers over here and here too if we wanted. But I kind of like that they're not. There's no little towers on there. Actually, I kind of like yellow now. I'm liking yellow a little bit more now. I'm feeling it. Go ahead and we'll just do this on the back so we have something to double knot to. Have I ever had a dog? Yes, I, I've had a few different dogs. Um, when I was a baby, there was a puppy named Ginger that was our Cocker Spaniel. That was actually my first word was Ginger. Uh, and then there's a, I had a um, dog, a pup named uh, Maddie for a long time, a beagle. 
Very sweet pupper. Uh, but I haven't really owned a dog since then. I've been more of a cat dude. Um, but that's because I'm in like an apartment, you know, I don't really have a backyard or anything for a dog to go run around in. Do you have any dogs? I like dogs. I, I don't think that I'll be getting a dog until I have, probably till I have a kid. Again, I think that'll be the next time I get a dog. Which, I have a, I have a little bit of time. Seven? That's too many dogs, my dude. Joe, too many dogs. Seven? Five puppies? You're crazy. Bailey and Chew Chewy Chewy? Oh, that's cute. Chewy Chewy is a cute name for a pup. Come here, Chewy Chewy. That's pretty good, though, right? That's pretty good. Um, okay, we need to stuff it a little bit before we finish sewing this on. Susan's got two dogs. Zoe's got a papillon, 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 papillon named Kayla. I had, I had a friend named Kayla once. Uh, is what is a papillon? Isn't papillon, isn't that a, how do you say, butterfly in French? Papillon, something like that. Isn't, isn't butterfly in German schmetterling? Schmetterling? I think that's how you say butterfly in German. It's the ugliest way to say butterfly, I gotta say. <laughs> You have seven cats? Oh my gosh. My rule for cats is you can't have, I can't have more cats than I have bedrooms. That's my rule. But Jules wants to get, wants to get another cat. And I'm like, maybe, maybe, but I like our two kitties so much, you know? But maybe. I, I'm, I'm strongly considering it. I like cats. They're so cute. And I even had a bad one. Yeah, see it is Schmetterling. Yeah, what a what a gross name for a butterfly. Yeah, it's a language judgment. I just really like languages. I really wanted to major in uh, linguistic anthropology. Um, that was my, that was what I wanted to major in in college. Um, well, first I wanted to major in fashion design, uh, because I was getting really into crochet and it was like the most like worked out best for my crochet. But then when I was transferring to uh, a four year college, cause I was at a two year I was at like a community college. Uh, I didn't have any prerequisites for the for that major, so I had to like choose a different major to change to uh, fashion design in college. But then when I started going to college, I just I just never changed my major because I was just like ah, I'm lazy. I don't want to do it. So <laughs> and also I just really wasn't as interested in fashion design anymore. So. I was really hoping to ma major in linguistic anthropology, but they didn't really have any good linguistic anthropology courses at the college that I went to. So I just majored in anthropology instead. And I loved it, it was great. Thuha, hello, welcome. Okay, normally do I make it with four or two towers? Normally I, I've i made them with four towers, but I really like the sandcastle with two. Here's a, actually I just found another sandcastle. Here's a sandcastle I made with four towers. 
I just realized. No, 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 I'm doing all right. This is one that I made with four towers instead of two, so you can see how much bigger it is. But I kind of like it with two more, you know? It looks, it just looks more like sleek, I guess. All right, so next up I need to make the, to attach things. Oh, I'm actually, see, I wasn't supposed to add these on. Oopsies. Okay, so we gotta undo this. That's not a problem though. I'll do it over here too. Okay. So. Ooh, uh, you have a, you have a pup named Vinny? That's cute. I have a friend named Vinny. That's a good dog name though. <laughs> I should tell him that. Turn the upside down and chain one. It's okay, so. Start right here. Go through and chain one. Okay. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Seven. Like that. Oh wait, we got attached with the two. Okay, and then we need to push in the ten here. Ooh, this is this part's fun. I like this part a lot. It's like tricky. One, two. <laughs> Laura's phone just fell on her face. That's funny. I hate, I do that all the time. Two, three, four. When I'm in bed, I'm like, oh, and then it falls on my face. That's so funny. I do that so much. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to change music. There we go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, ten. like that all right and now we need to attach this one it's right here so one this guitar 11 okay so one Seven, eight, nine, all right, this will be eleven. Okay, and then go back to the base tower, skip two stitches. One, two, three, two. 
Spooky. If you say so, past Lou. That's what I think sometimes when I'm reading my old, like these older patterns. I'm like, all right, I don't remember that, but if you say so. <laughs> Four. Eight? Nine. How many? Ten more. Okay, let's do it. Ten. Okay. Oh, yes, Palisand. I, I do know that Pokemon. Uh, I, I actually discovered that Pokemon first in uh, the new Pokemon Snap. Um, I, I mean, I knew about it, but I never, like, had really seen it in a game until then. It's a weird one, though, right? I mean, I guess it's not that weird, like, compared to, like, there's an ice cream one and, like, you know, there's Voltorb. Um, okay. First our... The new Pokemon Snap is really good, by the way. If, if you haven't ever played that one, that game is really cool. Highly suggested. It's on the Switch. Three. And I'm just going to finish it off like this. Okay, so now we have the base on there. Now I have to sew these pieces together. Okay, I remember now. Okay. That. We're gonna go ahead and hide this end in and then we can make the little flags. And actually, I think that's gonna be it for the live stream. So we're almost done. <laughs> it's, I find it hard to crochet when I could be outside. Uh, how do I do it? I'll tell you how I do it. I'm in San Francisco, and it is always cloudy. <laughs> um, no, but I crochet outside too. That's how I do it, and I like to crochet things that are like um, that don't like make me sweat. So I, that's why I don't like to crochet like wearable items because then I'm using yarn that's like a little warm and I don't know, just kind of like hard to. Uh, you know, hard to crochet outside with. Right there. Amy loves the yellow roof. Good. I like it too. It's, it's pretty nice. It's a nice little... It's different. And I like that. gonna hide this end in there but we're almost done and here's another shout out if you haven't yet um, it is your last chance to sign up for the club crochet pro kit this month um, those are our, that's our kit membership it gets you uh, all the materials you need to make whatever new pattern I'm adding to the library that month. And this month, uh, it's between you, you get to make a pterodactyl and an ankylosaurus, and you actually can make um, four of them. So it actually make a lot of different dinosaurs. Uh, and then you can choose between making these two or making a pterodactyl and, or not a pterodactyl, uh, a triceratops and a stegosaurus. It's a pretty good kit, honestly. It's your last time to sign up. Sign ups end uh, at the end of the month. So sign up now or forever hold your peace. Sign up now and forever hold your peace. Because crochet. Ha 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 ha. All right, we're going to start by sewing together these little ends. So that the base is sewn on like this. And then we'll 
go in and we'll just sew on a little bit right like yeah like that just so that the side of the tower is sewn on there two Center of that, and then I'm just gonna come out on the back somewhere, right there. There we go. Okay, so there's one tower. Now we just need to sew this tower on. That boop. Sometimes I just like to like hold in place and then just, I don't know, make it up. There we go. An axolotl. Yes, uh, I am working on an axolotl. Uh, I'm going to start by making an axolotl for the... Um, for a bonimal, I think that's where I'm gonna start, and then I'm gonna try to do a bigger version. I want to do a reversible axolotl, and uh, maybe like just like a fun. I don't know. I just like I do like axolotls, so I will be working on one. But I think I'd like to start with a Bonimal version, you know? Okay. There. Okay, now we're just going to double knot all these ends. And then make another couple of flags so we have a flag in each end there. We could make this go, actually, we could just go like down there to add some detail. Eh, it's fine. We'll keep it the way it is. Thank you, Sunshine. I'll see you soon. And it'll look much different, hopefully. I mean, well, I don't know. Maybe not that different, but a little different. So we'll be in a new space. Okay, and then we're gonna just double knot these bottom ones too. Bonimals are bossom. <laughs> Agreed. Okay. That's sewn in, that's sewn in. We'll put the first flag right in the end, like that. And uh, technically that's done, but uh, we want to add two more. I'm going to add two more uh, flags on either side there. So first let's cut them out. There's one, and then we'll do the same thing over here. And let's see, what color needles do we use? We got a pink one at the tip. Let's go, let's go blue. Well, that one's curved. Let's get this blue one. And let's do green. We'll do a bunch of different colors. All right. Very colorful castle. Colorful castle. Blue one. And green one. I like it. I like all the flags facing the same way too. 
There we go, guys. We did it. C'est fini. C'est belle, no? All right. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for joining and crocheting along with me. Let's look at the other side of this castle, too. Wow. I really like the three uh, flags, actually. And the yellow works really well, too. I'm sorry we didn't get to the beach ball today. Um, you know, I just worried about the move. We got to get all... I got to mo start moving everything out of here and stuff like that. So, sorry. But I'll be back soon uh, in August. We'll do a bunch of dinosaur-themed uh, live streams in August. So make sure to join then if you would like to. Uh, you know, make sure to like and subscribe. Sign up now for the Club Crochet Pro Kit if you want to get a Pterodactyl and an Ankylosaurus kit. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys really soon. Thank you so much for joining. You know, like the video, all that stuff, too. Yeah, que, que precioso. Sure, I'll have Jack say hello. Uh, oh, actually, I might have Jack. Oh, here he is. Wake up, bub. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. How you doing? Uh, we're just getting started. What are we doing now? What are we making today? No, you're like way late, my dude. Way late. We're actually just saying goodbye. What? Why didn't you wake me up sooner? Well, I just, I just needed to get stuff done, you know? Just kind of like, I wish I could have been there to say hi and stuff, but okay. What are you saying hi now? You know, you could just say hi bye. Just, just, I just need a quick, like, hello, goodbye from you. No. No? What do you mean, no? Nah, I don't, I don't think I want you to go. That's okay. I'll be back. Hmm. All right. Hi bye. Oh, who's that? That's, uh, that's Shank. You like him, don't you? Yeah, he's cute. Yeah, he looks like a little, like an egg of yours or something. Yeah, he's like a little mini me, kinda. Yeah, a little bit. All right, well, you got it. We gotta go, bud. So say bye. Bye. All right. <laughs> All right, dudes. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Now I get to move everything. It's going to be a long night for me. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining. No, you know what? You hang up first. Ooh, maybe actually, Joe, you could hang up first this time. My God, you're so bad. Look at that little floating dude. Hey. Whoa. Okay, bye. Bye, everybody. No, you hang up, Susan. No, I'm not hanging up first. Come on. Uh... Fine. Bye.